Unit 5 Culture Reading A Tattoos A Tribal Heritage Centuries before rock stars and celebrities, tattoos were used by tribal men and women across the world, whether it was the Maoris of New Zealand or the Apatanese of Arunachal Pradesh to mark out identity and territory. On his orchid profile, Michi Laling, a 20-year-old Delhi University student, describes himself as a free soul with strategically placed tattoos and body piercing. Ink, in fact, runs in Michi's blood. Back in his village in Arunachal Pradesh's Zairo Valley, his 80-year-old grandmother also wears a tattoo, though for entirely different reasons. While body art is a fashion statement for Michi, his grandmother was forced to get her face tattooed when she was barely eight. Centuries before, it became an accessory for rock stars and celebrities Arunachal Pradesh's Apatani tribe to which Michi belongs was tattooing its women folk to make them unattractive to rival tribes in neighboring districts who might otherwise abduct their prettiest women. Today's quintessential fashion statement, a tattoo was a way to protect the identity of various tribes revealing a rich and airy intersection of primitive art and violence. Apatani women were often abducted by the neighboring Nishi tribesmen for their beauty. So, to make themselves look unattractive, they tattooed their faces and wore huge circular nose plugs, says S.K. Barwa, an anthropologist who has researched on the tribes of Arunachal Pradesh for more than 30 years. Though not many women born in the last three decades have chosen to get their faces inked, the inhuman practice was banned by the government in the 70s. Elderly Apatni women can still be seen with a thick blue line running from their forehead to the tip of the nose and six smaller lines on their lower chin. The apatony tattooing procedure used to be a very painful affair. Unlike the state of the art tattoo guns and ink used today, the apatonies used thorns to cut the skin and shut mixed in animal fat for the dark blue color. The wounds were allowed to get infected so that the tattoos became larger and clearer. The Apatanis are not the only tattooed tribe in northeastern India. The head hunting cognacs of Nagaland used to tattoo their faces like head hunters from the Philippines, Taiwan, and other Pacific Islands. Facial tattoos were marks of the head taker, the various designs indicating the person's prowess in battle and his head count, write Aditya R. and Vibha Joshi in their book, Land of the Nagas. Researchers also say that tattoos helped establish tribal identity besides enabling recognition after death in a war or a fatal accident. Facial tattooing was prevalent among Nocts and Wanchus of Arunachal as well. The married women of the Shingfo tribe found both in Assam and Arunachal were tattooed on both legs from the ankle to the knee, while the men tattooed their limbs, while unmarried Shingfo girls were barred from wearing a tattoo. With the modernization and urbanization of Northeast India, over the decades, 
the tattoo culture has shifted significantly the traditional patterns may have been replaced by modern motifs but the meaning behind the pain inducing practice hasn't changed much just like today's city bred youth nagas regarded tattoos as a sign of strength courage and virility because of pain associated with it indian tribes are not the only ones that tattooed themselves the ainu of japan traditionally wore facial tattoos today one can find berbers of tamazga north africa maoris of new zealand arabic people in east turkey and the atayal of taiwan with facial tattoos the practice was widespread among polynesian peoples and among tribes in the philippines borneo samoa and cambodia despite some taboos surrounding tattooing the art continues to be popular in many parts of the world